This video will help you install SQL Server 2017 Express. Go ahead and go to our uh, Learning Suite course and go to the Schedule link and off to the side, the right side where it says Gain More Understanding, you're going to see that on uh, the right column there will be a link for Microsoft SQL Server 2017 Express. Go ahead and click on that link which is www.microsoft.com slash en hyphen us slash download slash details dot aspx question mark id 55994 one big long link now when you first look at this you might think what does this have to do with surface pro nothing that's an ad so scroll down and you'll see right here it says sql server 2017 express choose the language you want to use and then click download this will then prompt you uh, to save this file to your computer and just go ahead and click keep and that will now download that file actually the install file to your system now instead of just running this right away what I would recommend is click on this up arrow and show in the folder and here you'll see it in the folder right here what I would do now is to execute this, I would right mouse click and I would run as administrator. And that's going to give you administration rights for installing your software. Click yes. And this will begin the installation process for your SQL Server Express. And what we'll do is we'll pause for a minute. After it spends some time uh, going through and checking on your files, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Basic, Custom, and Download Media. We want you to click on Custom, and you can specify where you want to store it. I'm just going to leave it as a default folder there, and I'm going to click Install. And now it's going to go and gather the files necessary for doing the installation. And so now it's going to come back and tell us it's ready to install so it's going through the process right there and here is the install screen let me adjust that so you can see it just a little bit better and the first thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to click on the first item that you see there which says new sql server standalone installation so click on that link and it gathers the necessary files it needs for the install click on the I accept license and terms signing your life away to Microsoft click on next now it's going to go through and make sure you have everything ready in your system to install this program uh, you might get a warning on the firewall as long as it's not an error you should be okay so go ahead and click next as long as you have the three green check marks there and on this box it says what do you want to install the easiest thing for right now just choose select all and these are the different options that you're using to install SQL Server and go ahead and click next notice the path where it's installing and it's going to go and gather the files one more time and then it's going to say what do you want to call your database area not the database itself but the area where we can store all of our databases. Leave that as the default, SQL Express. Click Next. And once again, you'll come to this screen. More about configuration. You don't need to know this for right now. Just leave it default. Click Next. And this is going to be sort of the habit as we go for a while. Just leave things as default. Let the system do its job. Click Next and we're going to use uh, Windows authentication to get to the database so click next and actually let me come back here and make sure you do have a user listed right now and it should be your name and that uh, you are administrator if not you just need to go and add the current user right here click accept we don't have to do the, uh, install Microsoft R but I'm just going to install it all because I would rather do that and figure out what I have to do. 
Uh, sometimes it's best just to let your install program handle it for you. Next, one more thing. Now it's going to talk about uh, the consent to install Python, which we want to accept. And you'll click Next on that. And once again, we did a custom installation, so we could be changing any of these rather than the basic. Click Next. And now it's going to go through and start to do the install for you. And I'll come back with the video once we make it through the install part. So after many minutes, hopefully you see a screen that looks like this with a whole bunch of check marks, green check marks, saying that you've installed SQL Server correctly. Go ahead and click that Close window. It takes you back to the install screen. Now you're not done because I want you to install SQL Server Management Tools. So it's the third link on that page. You're going to click on Install SQL Server Management Tools, and it'll bring up uh, a web page for you, and it says you need to download that. And so notice there's two different links here for downloading it. One of them says you don't have a previous version of the SQL Server Management Studio. The other one says you have. I'm going to make assumption you don't have it, so this is the first link you'll click on. Download SQL Server Management Studio. It's then going to take a while and download that program to your system. Once that file is installed, once again I'd click on the arrow, show in folder, and I would right mouse click on the file, and I would run that as administrator. And then a box is going to pop up, and you're going to have to prove the install of it, so click yes and then it will begin the install of the SQL Server Management Studio. Go ahead and click on the install button and it's going to go out and grab all the information necessary to do the installation for you. And this will take a little while so just sit back and relax as it continues to install for you. Once the installation is completed just click the close button takes you back to the install screen and um, if you want you could install some of the other tools maybe if you want the SQL Server data tools uh, we probably don't need anything else um, but we do want to try to do a little bit of Azure support if we get time in the class so let's go ahead and click on install SQL Server data tools this now takes you to another install link and it says during Visual Studio you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you chose SQL Server Data Tools right here which we should have already done when we installed Visual Studio Community. If not you can go back and do uh, a modify on that program and I'll show you how to do that later on. So we're all done so go ahead and click close and you've installed SQL Server.